Awesome. So thanks for joining us this afternoon, everyone. Um, so this is Drone Talk. This is episode 10. This week we're going to be talking about mental health and we're also going to be doing a little bit of talking on drones as well. Um, it's obviously Mental Health Week. Um, there's a lot of work that we put into this. A lot of self-coaching, a lot of self-development that we do here at Copters. We, we, I've spoken quite a lot already about exercise and about CPD, about that personal training. Um, and I just, I basically put these seven different points together over the weekend that I thought could probably help some of you guys. It's something that you need to be aware of, uh, and that's why it's such a big thing, especially this year. It's, it's a week. It's not just like it's a day anymore. Um, so yeah, we're really, really trying to push this and. In terms of business, in terms of pushing yourself, you are going to come under stress, whether that's through uh, physical stress, mental stress, and how do you adapt to that? At the end of the day, this this webinar, these YouTube live sessions are all about starting your business, helping you improve your business. And to do that, to get that going, that's going to put a lot of pressure on you. That could give you a lot of mental stress. So these seven things I've put together or be touching on um, just little tips that I've got, things that I'm, I do, things that I'm working on, um, and then just things that I think you can get a lot out of. Um, so slightly different to, to the normal weeks. It's kind of going with a the theme. This is going to be the last one of this uh, this season. Uh, we're going to be coming back with little bite-sized little hits. We're going to do some little podcasts. Uh, I hope to get some guests on, and I'll also be doing some um, sector-specific work as well. So agriculture. Uh, media and marketing and property and development that sort of uh, sort of areas um so yeah watch this space we're not next week we're not doing any videos we'll be going live but the week after we'll be back to normal um so yeah this week's all about mental health but i'm also going to be touching on drones as well um so there are a few discontinued drones that i want to run by everyone just so everyone's aware um and then yeah we'll go from there so yeah let's crack on so my to-do list what things number one is create me we spend a lot of sports doing hobbies but time you need to make sure that you stop and, and you give yourself a little bit of time on your own as well um so having those quiet moments it might be when you're having your cereal it might be when you're doing yoga for example but having that time just to sit back contemplate what's going on and really understand everything is really, really powerful. So number one is create some me time. Next step, exercise daily. Um, I put this down at first because there are so many people that say it. Do something daily. Do this, that, and the other. My Apple Watch is always telling me to stand up and do a little bit more walking because I'm always on my bum. And it is. It's, it's these little things that you need to add up. You need to accumulate. Doing something daily is tough. Uh, I've tried it. We all do it in January, don't we? We put a bit of Christmas weight on. We all try. Yeah, do you know what? I'm going to exercise every single day. The next 365 days. Yeah, okay. Well, bite size. It's those little bits of developments. It's like DIN. Do something today. Do it now. And let's start the flywheel turning. What I would say is go for a walk. A quick lap around the block. Um, I know I've been talking to Ryan a lot. He's just had a new baby. And they do a lot of laps with with the pram and he's getting his steps and his little things like this and it all adds up. So I would just say, just get outside, get a bit of fresh air and you'll be amazed what it can do for you. Um, in terms of, for me, something that's really, really helped, I've actually been struggling with my back with, with a nerve that's been playing up essentially and it's stopped me from playing football, playing my golf and I needed somewhere to turn to because I was getting quite stressed out, quite, getting quite pent up. And I actually turned to yoga, something completely different that I've never really done before. Um, and I did a 30-day um, test and trial, essentially. Um, could I do it for 30 days in a row? What is push myself? But I also needed that exertion of energy. But it also gave me that me time as well. So for any of you who haven't, I uh, really, really recommend it, actually. Uh, and it was just 20 minutes every single day. It gave me that time to meditate time which sounds weird out loud but it gave me that me time i could de-stress it was normally after work i'd do 20 20 minutes sometimes 40 minutes depending on what the session was it was tough i didn't realize how hard it would be but it it gave me that time to unwind exercising what i've found through football as i've grown up is it is a de-stress it's 
that energy release and all that stress that I get pent up, I can get rid of that when I go play football. And, and that's so, so important for me. So for me being slightly injured, I had to adapt slightly and see what else I could do. So in yoga, was that for me? Um, so yeah, create me time, exercise daily. And the next one is learning to say no, which is tough to do. Um, it's not always easy to say no, especially when you're, you're trying to help people, but you don't always want to be the yes man. Um, saying no in powerful situations is going to earn your respect. It, it shows people that you value your time. And also, you need to be in charge at the end of the day. When we're getting into the industry, and it is in the case of jobs, opportunities, saying yes is obviously fantastic. Um, a lot of people come to us asking about smaller drones, Mavic Minis, Mavic Airs. As a salesman, I should say yes and go from there. Get the money in for copters. But that's not the right thing to do. And when we had Chris Flanagan on um, a couple of weeks ago for Copters Con, this was one of the main points that he he brought up was actually saying no to the right situation because Chris came to us wanting a, a Matrice M210, all the bells and whistles, and that isn't what Chris needed. So I told him, no, you don't need that just yet. That's something we can aim for in the future. We don't need that huge outlay. We can go for something else. So saying no is, is good for you. It's good for them. It is good for everyone. It's something I, I do have to work on a lot, and I have to work on quite a bit with customers, with friends. There's lots that I, that I do work on with this, and this is something that I'm constantly trying to improve upon. Um, so, yeah, and that's a big one for me, number three. So learning to say no to people. Next is nourish your body. Um, and this has changed quite a lot for me as well, actually, recently. So I don't know if you've seen that, that sea spiracy. Um, since then, I've really been trying to cut back on meat. But are you getting enough water every single day? Are you getting the amount of fruit and veg that you need? Because you will notice a difference in, in how you feel. If you're eating Greg's every day, for example, you're not going to feel good. Um, it's just not ideal for your body. You need to be nourishing yourself to the best of your ability. I understand that healthy food does actually cost a little bit more. It is a pain. That's It's weird that the world works out. But essentially, you need to be putting the right sort of fuels inside your body. Um, not living off coffee, even though I absolutely love the stuff. All these little things they do add up. There's no pill to get you rich nice and quick. There's no get rich scheme in terms of health, in terms of mental health. It's not something that you can switch on and off. No matter how many gym goers that you see, oh, I did this in 28 days, it's not the case. It's a process. It's putting the right things in your body, being healthy, and going through the process. It's something that we do over time. And again, we can set ourselves different targets, things for each other to aim for within this. Um, so, yeah, that's a really, really big one, I'd say. Um, I'd say enjoy your hobby. Is one of the things I mentioned. I know I've, I've said about football, but it is, it's really, really important. Having something that you enjoy. And I think what's great about having this, this one as a tie, enjoying a hobby, that should be your drone industry. Having something you can separate from your job is ideal. But at the moment, in this industry, you need to be getting hours under your belt. You need to get out flying. If you love the thing you do, you're going to spend more time doing it. So, for example, I... I really enjoy the coaching, working with people, and I listen to podcasts and I read books off the back of it. So the the learn to say no, I've been listening to um, oh, what's it called? It's the the challenge concept and and challenging people and how that's a healthy mentality for business. So learning to say no and and challenging people when I don't think things are quite right and we can make it better. So it's all about that development. So if you can enjoy your hobby and, and find a hobby if you don't have one, you'll find that this is a great release of stress, really good for your mental attitude. It's something to look forward to at the end of the day and something to, to practice and get better at. Um, so, yeah, it's a big one. I think that's quite a nice one as well. Number six, and again, going back to the whole gym scenario, they always talk about getting your eight hours if you're trying to bulk up or put a bit of weight on or if you've done a big game of football, they always also get, get a good meal in you and have a good sleep. But it's so, so important. A lot of people 
get up so, so early or go to bed so, so late. And I struggle with that. If I don't have my eight hours, I know about it straight away. Uh, I'll probably be groggy in the morning. I'll need an extra cup of coffee. And, and, I'll, and it just sets your day off wrong. Whereas you get a good night's sleep and you can push from there. And that's, I think that's really important. Next is be in the moment. Stay positive, which is easier said than done. But I like to be in the moment, take opportunities as they come, see how it develops. And I think you do actually get a bit of a rush from that. It's, it's mixing with people, which I know we can't really do at the moment, but we're getting there. It's mixing with people, it's conversing with people, that interaction, being in the moment. Sometimes being a yes man and seeing where a night can take you or seeing where an opportun opportunity can take you, helping out a random stranger and being in the moment. You'll get a great kick out of this. It's good for your mental health. It's changing your nine to five every single day and doing something different, being a little bit offbeat for a day. That randomness, that, that new energy is only going to be good for you. So yeah, being in the moment is obviously something that you get tattooed on your ankle or whatnot when you go on holiday, but I do think that's pretty decent actually. So in terms of mental health, it's really important that you do reach out to anyone if you do need that help. Um, we're obviously here at Copters if you do want to reach out to us, if you've got your business started, if you want a bit of help. Sometimes just a conversation really will help and uplift people. So if that's what you need, if you don't have someone to turn to, by all means, get in touch. Right, so that's mental health. Now we touch on drones. And this is really, really important. Quite a few any of these drones get a rig along. Uh, we've been brought brand new drones like the Mavic Air 2S, absolute cracker. Uh, we've got all the new Airs, we've got Mini, we've now had the Mini 2. We've had the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advance, which is the absolute drone to have at the moment. So, plenty of drones on the market, which one do I look for? Will DJI make it easy for us because they're getting rid of a lot? And the same for Parrot. So the Parrot Nafi Thermal, discontinued. Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual, discontinued in summer. Mavic 2 Enterprise and Enterprise, oh sorry, Mavic 2 Enterprise Zoom, discontinued. M600, discontinued. So now what this leaves us is this big gap. We have Mini, Mavic Air, we have the Para Anafi, the work or the extended, and then we've got this big jump to the Inspire, to the Phantom, to the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced, to the Specialist with your Elios, with your M300. So this is big gap now. Um, and when we talk about training, when we talk about development, you've got the A2CFC, then you've got this big jump, and then you've got your GVC, then you've got things like your off quality level five and your next step after that. One thing that this is going to do is really create a, a bit of a, a chasm, a bit of an opening in the industry. If you already have one of these drones, ideal, because you can kind of dip into consumer and commercial, see what works best for you. If you are interested in these drones, we don't have many left. The UK doesn't have many left. DJI or Parrot don't have many left. They're not making them anymore. So it's just a case of what is left. For example, the Parrot and Afi Thermal, 11 and we don't think we're going to get any more obviously the police search and rescue teams love this drone it is an absolute cracker but they're now moving to the usa the next step up the mavic 2 enterprise dual again made for search and rescue but super super popular across the industry again if you're interested in this drone i believe we've got around 30 left but this is these drones go, you're then going to have to start looking at the USA. You're then going to have to start looking at the Advance, which two phenomenal drones and what they can do in terms of data, in terms of accuracy, in terms of powerhouse of drones. But the price point is different. It's completely different. So if you are kit and you're looking at these options, you need to get a rig on. The Mavic 2 Pro is no longer going to be with us. We think we've got potentially under 10 left we're looking to try and get another shipment in from dji we believe that there is some more available but we think it's gone we think it's gone so again look if if you're looking to get into cinematography the mavic air 
2S is a good looking drone. The specs look phenomenal, but with the Air, a lot of people, there's a great excitement and then there's a drop. Okay, so it's not actually as good as what we think it is. It's still very light, gets knocked around. Okay, so the next step up is the Mavic 2 Pro. What if that isn't the next step up? We're gonna have to jump to the Inspire. The Inspire starts at three grand, then we put a camera on it, then we get all the batteries that you need for it, then you get the case, all the accessories. We're now talking similar money to the USA, similar money to the Advanced, and you can see there's this gap. If you are interested in any of these discontinued drones, do get in touch. Something to think about. Um, I'm not, I don't come on this drone talk to sell, but it's just something to be aware of in the industry. This, as, as one of our CEOs, Paul says, there's always opportunity in downfall. And it's just finding that opportunity. So if you've already invested in something like a Mavic 2 Enterprise Advance, phenomenal. Just think of all the work that you're going to be able to take advantage of. If you're looking to get into the industry, there could be some good deals going for these drones. So yeah, it's something to look out for. If you've got any questions on drones or, or what's going to be out, what's going to be here to stay, do get in touch. Um, but yeah, it's another curveball. Um, yeah, let's see how it goes. Uh, like I say, next week we're not going to be going live with Drone Talk, but the week after we start with a brand new season and a brand new look. So yeah, I'll see you then. That's awesome. Cheers, guys.